Drive through Park Hills in northern Kentucky, you might notice some subtle changes, but it's hoped that will make a big impact. Clancy Burke is live at the corner of Terrace and Amsterdam this morning to explain why this community is safer than ever now. Clancy? Sheila, overall traffic deaths are down. That's the good news, but the bad news is if you decide to get out of your car and walk across the street because drivers are killing pedestrians at the highest rate since 1990. But signs like that one right there and the other one next to it hope to get those numbers down. Those are two of 10 pedestrian crosswalk signs that have been installed in Park Hills. They were donated by the nonprofit Devu Good Project. And the reason they're doing this is because people have noticed drivers are flying down these roads. And I can tell you just from standing here this morning, I can see it. I mean, people are buzzing right past these roads, but the goal is that maybe if people start seeing these bright yellow signs, they will slow down. And the big concern with Park Hills specifically is just how many kids they are in this community. I mean, it's a small community, about 3,000 people, but we have St. Agnes, we have Covington Catholic, we have Notre Dame. We have so many kids walking these streets and we need to make them safer. Yesterday, I spoke with the mayor and I also spoke with Matt Butler from the Dubu Good Project, and they both said something needs to change now. Take a Listen. They're going to run over a child and then your life. How do you feel about that? Or run over anyone and, and how do you feel about that? You know, people want walkable, livable neighborhoods. And uh, this is one small step to uh, kind of bring that back. All right, so here's a crazy stat that I just learned yesterday. If you are driving your car at 20 miles an hour and you get in a car crash, you have a 90% chance of living. But if you double that, if you're driving 40 miles an hour and you get in a car crash, you have a 90% chance of dying. So really the big thing here is to slow down. For now, reporting in Park Hills, Clancy Burke, Local 12 News. Thank you, Clancy. Since 2005, more than 2,300 people walking and on bikes have been hit by cars in northern Kentucky.